Good morning, everybody. Today's date is 3-15-2017. I have the Google chart, the MMT platform up. We opened up here this morning, and the 870s and the 875 put options are paying on this opening bell. The opening bell right now is 6.47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. When we come down to the bottom, what we did was, is we have these triple, quad triple diamonds right here. These are our bots, robots, these diamonds are. And the thing about it is, is, is that when we're making that low, we got the IR above 25. We have exactly um, on the trend ratio high was 0 0.80. That's what we're trading. And when we go and we look at three quarter delta positive well when we get up toward that three delta area well that would have been up here this is seven dollars and 71 cents to get there but we had bought what we call the 870 puts and the reason why we're coming out of some of them is because on this opening bell trade we can see that the ir we now that we're above the half bar which is 863 point uh 18 cents and this uh, bar here is 863.69 so we're above the previous half bar now let it be known that this is Google on the opening bell and it is now let's move over to Amazon here is Amazon right now and I just want to let you know hey we go right now we have a 6 IR on Amazon when we had that opening bell we owned, and here, I'll just show it to you right here in the bigger black box. Zero IR. This tells us to stay in the puts on Amazon. So we have a $5.57 range in the first 20 minutes, 19 minutes. We are short. We bought the puts again on the 855 puts, and I'll show those put charts. But in high frequency trading algorithms, these are diamonds that we made at price to track HFT. Because on that opening high, it was 0 0.98 deltas. So here's the map. Every line that you see is 1 16th. It's 39 cents per line per pricing. 39 pennies for each one of these lines. Now, I'm going to blow this up like a dead dog. And seriously, I'm going to get the mini brain out of your way. And this is the movement on Amazon. There is nothing that says because the inner day range is at one. And we have put options on Amazon on this opening bell. Yes, the Dow is at 45 points. And the NASDAQs are positive, but we're going to put a bottom in. Once we do, then we're going to start coming out. But nothing says we come out. Remember, this math does not lie when you're looking here at our live application. And it doesn't. And there isn't another application in the whole world that does what this does. This takes all the volatility out of your thinking. And it's 100% accurate. Now, this half bar right here is 848.88 and you can see the bid and ask is 848 and a quarter by 848 by 56 pennies that's a price spread of 31 cents with the public we're trading our ratio which is 66 by 62 and there's nothing that says to come out now let's see exactly what google has done right over here they both look very familiar, but we came out of it because we're holding this half bar. Once we got above this half bar, the robots, the uh, high frequency trading technologies, they did pop to where these diamonds are. Um, don't take it wrong because ultimately coming up off of the bottom, um, we have to have on Google the IRs above 25 we're going to flirt right now with 864.25. This is the half bar. This is the half bar. Here we go live again. I'm just going to let you know. This is the turn. That's a 33 IR. 
the math doesn't lie, but we're going to take a look up here and we're going to find out that this half bar right there is 865.94. And right now we're above these key half bars. When this goes down in value on the interday range, which is our, um, that's our, our uh, algorithm, when that goes down, this goes up. When this goes up, this goes down. It doesn't lag price. This is the Google trade right here. And let's go ahead and flip back over here to the Amazon trade. We have the puts on the Amazon trade. Amazon is sinking like a dead rock. You heard what I said. I will be pulling up these uh, call charts and put charts um, in the next live video. But you're learning what the MMT app does. These are the diamonds, and the diamonds are prices that are high-frequency trading algorithms. We built our own algos, and there's nothing that says to come out of this. That's at 2. Now it's at 0. If you look down here in the gauge where my pointer is, that tachometer gauge is going that way. As long as that's staying this way, it doesn't tell you to come out. No. And we keep making trend ratio low on that tachometer. And the trend ratio high was 1.04. That will stay there. This is the middle part. And you got to say one thing. As long as that baby's on zero, we staying in the trade. And if you take 17.05, 1 16th value, which is a teeny times 39 cents it comes out in dollar movement six dollars and 61 cents buddy if you take a look at the intraday range it's a hundred percent here and our teeny value and the actual intraday range in the price movement is six dollars and 61 cents it cannot get better than a hundred percent accurate and then how long do we stay in it we're staying in this trade as long as it takes on this opening bell. And Google looks a lot better because the reason why Google is different is because you made the turn. We got resistance up here, but the IR is at 35. It's not on zero like Amazon. And when we started to come down in the ratio 0.24, when that common denominator goes lower, that's how this goes up. And we're at 31 IR. And it's 12.74 teenies times 47 pennies per 16 equals in dollar terms in our 593. And take a look right here. Take a look. Inner day range is 593. $4 off of the high and $1.89 off of the low. Look at what our dollar movement, our teenies, 116 times 47 pennies is 593. They call that Mr. Who? Mr. Houdini. So basically, Amazon over here is a 6 IR. It's 39 pennies per teeny. 116 at 17.05 teenies times 39 pennies equal what? $6.61. On that interday range on the opening bell.